This is V. Deepika, working as an assistant professor from KG Reddy College of Engineering. Now, let us discuss about the topic stabilization against variations in IC naught, beta, and VBE. Now, designing the biasing circuit, okay, uh, it, uh, design, we need to design the biasing circuit in such a way that uh, be, uh, the operating point should be lying exactly in middle of the active region. Okay, so for, for, for that purpose, we are designing the biasing circuit such that the operating point should be in middle exactly in middle of the active region. So, but still, we are as we are designing also, what happens? The operating point, okay, which is in the middle of the active region, due to some of the factors, may shift to the either to the saturation region, nor into the cutoff region. Okay, so when the operating point shifts into the saturation region, what happens? The positive half cycle would be clipped off at the output. Whereas when the operating point has been shifted to the cutoff, then the negative half cycle would be clipped off. So when the operating point has been exactly in the middle of the active region only, we would get we would be getting exact replica of the sinusoidal signal where clipping at the positive half cycle and the negative half cycle would not be there okay so that we need to so exactly make the biasing uh, we need to design the biasing circuit in such a way that the operating point should be not be uh, should not shift into the either saturation region or cutoff region okay so bias stability is nothing but we the designing the designing the biasing circuit in such a way that the operating point should be stable but this stability okay could be changed into the either saturation or cutoff region due to the transistor parameters and the hfe parameters okay now what are the parameters which are being effective to shift the operating point into either in the saturation region or the cutoff region let us discuss that factors in detail okay so, let us discuss about the topic stabilization against variations in IC naught, beta and VBE. Okay, now where okay and so this stabilization this is the topic we are discussing now in this this ic note beta and vbe comes under the two factors which are nothing but temperature factors okay due to the temperature means the transistor parameters which are nothing but ic note which is reverse saturation current and beta value okay and the VBE, the input uh, voltage between the base and the emitter. So, these are the three transistor parameters which are changing when the temperature has been changed. Okay. So, temperature factors, temperature variations and the next second one is the variation in v, uh, of HFE. So, due to these two factors, the operating point would be shifted. Now, in this temperature variations, the first one we were discussing about, we will discuss about the IC naught. Okay? Now, IC naught. Now, normally the collector current at the output produces heat at the junctions. Okay? Now, when this produces heat at the junctions, so what happens? The, uh, the collector current would be increased. As the collector current would be increased, there will be increase in the minority carriers also. Okay? This minority carrier current is normally be written as IC naught equals to 1 plus beta IC, uh, sorry, ICB no, uh, IC naught equals to 1 plus beta ICB naught, okay, where ICB naught varies, where varies, means rises for 10 degrees rise in temperature. So, as IB's ICB naught increases, huh? Okay, with variation in the temperature for every 10 degrees rise in temperature, so I C B naught increases. So as I B I C B naught increases, the I C U naught increases. 
the collector current will be written as is been written as ic equals to beta hi b plus ic e naught so as this ic e naught is been increased so the collector current has been increased okay so the as the magnetic carriers has been increased means what as the temperature increases this ic b naught has been increased so the varying in terms ic naught increases as ic naught increases ic naught ic increases but we are saying that is what as as it increases ic increases the operating point may be shifted into the saturation region i think you are aware of the term thermal runaway please think uh, are you a uh, Uh, please let uh, just recall yourself of thermal runaway. In most of the topics, we have discussed about the thermal runaway. Okay, just I'll give you one me fifteen uh, seconds, uh, one minute of time. Okay. i think everyone has reco recovered about the thermal runaway now in the thermal runaway we know that power dissipated is nothing but vd into id okay now this as this id means what here we can term as ic pc equals to v, vc into ic now as the collector current increases at the output side what happen the power dissipated at the output also will be increased what happen as the power been increasing more there may be a chance to destroy of the transistor there may be chance for the transistor which is not capable to handle that power what happens the transistor would be affected and it would be destroyed okay na ma this will be mostly in done in your practical purposes so this is the concept of your thermal runaway now the next parameter is nothing but your the in input voltage vbe okay the input voltage vbe which is nothing but in the common emitter configuration the uh, normally we will use so in the voltage across your base and emitter junction this is the input voltage is it right okay when okay now if as the input voltage vbe changes for every 2.5 milli uh, milli degrees of 2.5 milli volts for every degree rise in temperature so what happens as vbe changes the ib current also changes okay so the base current as vbe is changing the base current would also be changes as this base current would be changed so ic is directly depending on your ib current beta ib so now as vbe is dependent on your vbe is changing your base uh, base current so what happen as this base current has been changed the collector current has been changed okay so what happens the operating point would again been shifted either into the saturation region or cut off region so this uh, this input voltage vbe also would be affecting the operating point okay the third one is nothing but your beta parameter beta means already we know that ic is directly depending on, B, uh, on your base current so ic equals to beta ib so normally if beta changes the collector current would be changed so this will be shifting the operating point so this are the three transistor parameters okay when the temperature has been changed so this transistor parameters would be changed and would be affecting the operate, uh, operating point and will be moving into the either saturation or cut off region okay now the next one is about your variation of hfe hfe is nothing but if you take two transistor units okay when you are using in the different up, same up, uh, different applications okay take means what it refers to your manufacturers why because if you go for two different manufacturers okay you take some beta value of 100 or 50 okay they will give you 50, uh, one manufacturer will give you one transistor with beta value of 50 and the manufacturer will be giving you with same beta value of 50 but when you use in the application purpose same application in the two different by using two different transistor there will be in the variation of your output okay so that if the manufacturer this man manufacturer also would be affected to shift the operating point to in either saturation or cut offs so the stability would be more okay the first the requirements of a biasing circuit is nothing but first the emitter base junction should be 
forward bias, collector bias junction should be reverse bias and they should provide a temperature stability. It should provide a temperature stability. So what I, what at last for seeing this, what do we need to do? We need to make this ICE and VBE to be independent. Okay, Nama? So then we can achieve the temperature stability. So there are two important such techniques which are nothing but stabilization techniques and compensation techniques where we can make the operating point to be stable. Okay. Now let us discuss about the stabilization techniques and the compensation techniques in the next class. Okay. Thank you.